Tonight is one of the most dangerous nights of the year to be out on the road. Studies show there are usually more fatal crashes on July 4th than on any other day of the year. In Lake County, police are trying to determine if a driver who swerved into another vehicle head on and killed a man was drunk. Our Derek Waller has more. Shorten Road in Willoughby Hills shut down for hours this holiday. Clear skies did not stop the driver of this silver Volkswagen Jetta from crossing the double yellow line, slamming into this red Honda Civic. The impact killed the Civic's 26-year-old driver, an Eastlake man. His passenger and the driver of the Jetta were both taken to Hillcrest Hospital. The alcohol might have been a factor, but we're not positive about that yet. Police say accidents like that are more common on major holidays when more people are on the road. A record number of drivers this year, according to AAA. And the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says July 4th is the year's deadliest day to drive, with New Year's Day a close second. Fourth of July is always a very busy holiday for us. The Ohio Highway Patrol alone responded to 14 fatal accidents this holiday weekend. On I-90, digital signs warn drivers of the danger. Sergeant Sergeant David Dilag has been patrolling Lorain County's roads for 19 years. Impaired driving in general is always an issue on any holiday. He blames not only alcohol and extra traffic, but more distracted drivers, including his own close call just last night. In a hurry, not paying attention, and almost hit me head on. Derek Waller with that report. Now there is some good news here. Studies do show overall the number of fatal crashes in the U.S. has actually been declining since the 1990s.